Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, I rarely ever cover this uh, particular channel. Flex your freedoms. I mean, he's just a bit too odd at times, even for frauditors. But I figured I'd show you this one because, well, we find ourselves in uh, Indianola, Iowa, where he attempts to recreate a J.G. Wentworth commercial. You know, if you ever hear 1-800-CASH-NOW, uh, J.G. Wentworth and all that. I mean, I want my money and I need it now or something like that. I don't know. It's been so many years since I've seen that commercial, but... Yeah, this gets pretty damn odd, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Somewhere else. Yeah. But it's my money. It's, what? I want cash now. Yeah, go loiter. It's my money and I want cash now, please. You know, Bo, uh, doing this in front of this uh, particular store, this jewelry store, uh, might be considered, uh, well, a bit strange because, well, demanding money in front of a jewelry store just might, uh, well, Indicate that you may be casing the joint to some people, but you know, teach their own. Ah, she's a bully. But where am I supposed to get cash now? They buy gold. Get out from in front of my store. What? Get out from in front of my store. How come? What are you doing up there? What? Get out. I have hearing aids in. You have to speak louder. Are you hungry? What? You're confusing me. Uh, yeah. I think confusion is the least of your worries, dude. I mean, I know there's something really wrong with you deep inside considering that you tend to dress up like a little old lady and act like a grandmother uh, sometimes. I mean, you're even founder of the uh, Butt Crack News Network, which had, uh, well, Betty Butt Crack in it and, well, and a lot of other psychos, too. You're scaring me. Why do you do this? What a bully. She's bullying me. I just want cash now. Mr. J.G. Wentworth wouldn't allow this to happen. It's your money. Use it when you need it. J.G. Wentworth is right. The woman here is a bully. Yeah. She, oh, there she is. She's a bully. Yeah, get out from in front of my store. Hey, I'll leave if you take this. I see you. I see you. What are you doing up there, young lady? I'm gonna go to jail. Knock out from in front of my door. Hey, knock, knock. Say Get who's there. Get away from my door. Hey, be quiet. You're scaring me. Get away from my store. This is my store. My girl business. No. I'm going up the yeah, there you go. Champion right there. She's an American. Oh, she's running. She's very bad. Well, let's just cut this short, guys, because there's only so much weird I can take. So let's just go ahead and skip the head to when the uh, officer shows up. And, well, there's a lot more weirdness after that. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't know. There's a naughty women's in there. What's that? A naughty women's in there. The one she's being a bully. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. She, she's being a bully. She's yelling at me, calling me names. Oh. I was like, what the hell? I'm just trying to get my money. Well, who's gotta... money? Who owes you money? J.G. Wentworth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it. That's why you have to come to the richest parts. Yeah. Because guess what? The richest nerds shop there. Okay. So if somebody comes in, I look cool and handsome. I understand that. But if some hot women's goes in there, she's probably going to buy me jewelry. Like, let's be honest. It's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I might have to go back to her house, clean up, make her some soup or something. Just a little uh, bit of carrots, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, she, she's a nasty women's in there. What'd she say to you? Huh. Get out of my or get away from my store. Get out of here. You can't do this. And just treat me like junk. Like treat me like I, you know, it's trash day early morning. The garbage guys come up. They're like, oh, this shit's too heavy. Dump it all over the place. Upset me. She, she, that she did call me. That's why I'm here. Actually. Oh, yeah. what a bully. I know. Well, I'm not trying. To if you got mace on you, hey, go in there. Just give it real fast. I'll, <laughs> that would be cool though. You gotta admit. You know, Mason, well, some Karen. Unfortunately, there are city ordinances against uh, peddling and asking for money. Oh, like that, so. but it's my it's my money, and I need it now. I know. I know. Who's who owes it to you? JG Wentworth. Where's the JG Wentworth? Eight seven seven Cash Now. Cash Now. Yes. I know. I've seen the commercial. Yeah. Oh, JG Wentworth. Eight seven seven Cash Now. Eight seven seven Cash Now. They help thousands. They'll help you. Yeah, so I'm trying to get <laughs> fucking JG, but he ain't hooking me up. Nope. I think my credit score is probably trash, maybe in the 200s. <laughs> really? So that's why I ain't getting my cash. And I'm trying to, it's my money and I need it now. I'm just following the advice of a wizard. So it's JG Wentworth. He is the best in business. I'm the best in business. You could be the best in business as well. That would be a three-way, not gay style, but <laughs> hey, we are here to get that paper. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not hurting anybody out here, but... Yeah, I would I try you... not to. I mean, I am trying to get into a boxing match soon, but oh, it would yeah. be foolish. I don't see homeless people out here. You've seen bum fights. Are, you, are you homeless? My, somebody told me it's this. You're homeless if you cons- don't consider your house a home. Therefore, I'm homeless. Okay, where are you from originally? You could pick about 10 different spots. Yeah. I'm actually a multi-millionaire. <laughs> what? Yes. I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to... You know, spend my seven figures in this store anytime soon, but <laughs> shit, golly, I cannot uh, believe her. Where are you from uh, originally? So uh, I, I prefer to call it uh, Dubuque, Dubuque on Waterbury Street. Okay. I got a couple bitches down there, they're pretty hot, but they're, they're running it, but they did turn it into a cracked in, kind of fucked up, because <laughs> I'm not getting that deposit back, let's be honest. <laughs> but you know, if they're holding it down, shit, I can't complain, I'm rich. Um, cool. All right, well. All right, sounds good. Any luck? Anybody come by? No, they think I'm, they, they hate the homeless. You know, I had a couple spit near me, and I think that was directed at me. And I said, why are you doing this? Please, no. Yeah. A lot of people don't like the homeless, you know? They think they stink, but guess what? I took a shower today, and I use that old spice, let's be honest, prestige, brother. So, and that shit smells good, about $6 at Walmart. That's, it's just one of those hidden gems that you'll find. You ain't homeless, you smell like heaven. And then I'd have to take my pants off, and those could be a little bit dirty because I actually need to get some new underwear. You know, I had an accident earlier, but... <laughs> I love it. And I probably won't be here too much longer because I'm hot and moist. This shit's like... I thought today was going to be like 75 or something. With all that sweat running down my butt crack, that proves that wrong. Right now, 70, 73 is what... What the hell? I thought I could handle the heat. I guess I cannot. I better get out the kitchen. I just would like my money and I want my cash now. J.G. Wentworth should hook us all up, let's be honest. At J.G. Wentworth, we say get cash now. How much does J.G. have? Uh, you know what, I didn't check his net worth, but I guarantee <laughs> you it's well over 69 mil. You guaranteed. You with, with that kind of money? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got that right. She's nasty. If you go in there, oof, you best watch yourself. She might go after you. She might. You got a... Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. <laughs> That's why. He's the man. All right. You have a good rest of your day. Take care. Well, it seems that the officer determined that this guy is nothing more than some harmless lunatic at this point. But harmless maybe, a lunatic definitely, because he 
tried to start a revolution a few months ago. That didn't really go anywhere. I mean, all it amounted to was uh, him and a few other people marching around the police station with a few uh, rifles, and that was really about it. Well, at any rate, guys, yeah, I know this one was a bit odd, but sometimes you just gotta go into that territory. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.